Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my May favorites, which just blows my mind. Uh, this month and kind of the last like five months went by so, so fast and we're slowly approaching summer, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I have just put together a bunch of the products that I've been loving this month to share with you guys. Um, before I start this video, I do want to just let you guys know to make sure you go follow me on Instagram. My username is Lavinia Rosanda. I just post a ton of makeup pictures, a bunch of makeup of the day, just some mini tutorial videos. Um, you know, I give you guys sneak peeks on upcoming videos and it's a great way to connect with me and ask me questions and stuff. Um, or let me know about video suggestions on there because I will also respond to your guys' comments. So yes, make sure to go follow my Instagram by clicking the link in the description box. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can get right into my May favorites. So I have my basket of goodies right here of all the favorites I have been loving over this month. So we're just gonna hop right in. So I'm just gonna start off with these two right here. Um, these are single eyeshadows from Maybelline. I have this one right here in the shade Nude Glow and then this one in New York Silver. They're super, super pretty eyeshadows, super pigmented. I am so incredibly impressed with these eyeshadows because in the past, Maybelline's eyeshadows have not been my favorite in particular. Um, I have not enjoyed their palettes or their quads or anything like that. So when I saw that they came out with single eyeshadows, I picked up these two just to try them. I didn't have very high hopes, but they blew me away. The pigmentation and the formula on these eyeshadows is absolutely incredible. I did use this New York Silver shade in a tutorial I did recently, so I will have that linked down below for you guys to watch. It's the most beautiful silver shade I've ever come across. Look how beautiful these two eyeshadows are. Look how metallic and just look at those swatches and that's how they appear on the eyes. So I highly recommend checking out these new Maybelline singles. They're really good. If we're still talking about eyeshadow, I'm just gonna mention this palette right here. This is the brand new Hard Candy Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. Now, I just uploaded a uh, review and swatch video on this palette, so I will link that down below for you guys if you are interested in more information on it. And the tutorial I did using that uh, Maybelline uh, New York Silver single eyeshadow, I also was using this palette, so I'll link that down below for you guys to watch. But I've been using this palette literally this whole month. It has been my uh, like obsession. I've been using it so, so much. These matte shades are just such amazing quality. I was so impressed by these. Um, I haven't been the biggest eyeshadow fan of Hard Candy also um, in the past, but this palette is absolutely amazing. It's the best they've ever come out with. One of the best palettes I've ever tried, hands down, especially at the drugstore. It's really inexpensive, which is amazing. Um, it has a ton of shades. You can get a ton of different looks out of this, and I've been using it so much. These matte shades blend out so, so well. I won't talk too much about this palette since I do have a full review video on that. Now another brand new product at the drugstore that I have just been using so much is the new e.l.f. Highlighting Dewy Drops. I'm pretty sure this product is called, it doesn't actually have the name on the actual product, it was on the box. It's like a liquid highlighter basically and this is in the shade Illuminating. I'm pretty sure they only have one shade, at least in stores, they only carry this shade. I absolutely love this. I have been such a fan in mixing this into my foundations or applying it under my foundations or over just on the high points of my face. It's such a beautiful highlighter. I'm actually not wearing it today. I did mix a little bit of it into my foundation, but this is such a beautiful product, especially now in the summer when you want that glowy goddess skin. You can just mix this into your foundation, any foundation, just to make it a little more illuminating, or you can apply this under your foundation just to um, make sure the foundation isn't matte and flat on your skin um, and you can also just apply this over your makeup as a just highlighter as a regular liquid highlight so you can do many things with this and it's really inexpensive and it looks beautiful on the skin it has such a nice reflection it's not too intense to the point where it looks like glittery and chunky it just has that natural but yet really reflective um, 
really really pretty product um, and you can also just apply this over your makeup as a just highlighter as a regular liquid highlight so you can do many things with this and it's really inexpensive and it looks beautiful on the skin it has such a nice reflection it's not too intense to the point where it looks like glittery and chunky it just has that natural but yet really reflective um really really pretty product um and I really think that a lot of skin tones can use this since it's not too fair or too dark. Um, you know, and I'm pretty fair so I can use this and I believe that people fairer than me can use this if you are mixing this into your foundation. And then if you are deeper, you can obviously use this as well. So I think it's a really nice tone. It's just a neutral highlighter, not too pink, not too gold, just a nice neutral highlighter. So I've been a really big fan of that. Speaking of summer products, I have a ton of lipsticks to share with you guys. These are just really bright, colorful summer lipsticks that I have been obsessed with. Um, I just love doing my everyday makeup and then popping on a really bright lip. I just feel like that completes the look and makes it a little more summery and colorful. If I don't want a super bright lip, but I still want a touch of that summer um, spring color, I will reach for one of these. I have this one in the shade Just Peachy and it is a nude lipstick, but it has a really intense peach undertone. It's not picking up on camera, but in real life, this has a really intense peachy undertone. And then this one is in the shade Think Pink and it's the same thing. It's a nude lipstick with a really intense touch of pink in it. It's not really noticeable on camera, but these actually have a neon touch to them, but they're still nude lipsticks. And then we've got three lippies right here from Milani. So I have this one right here in the shade 75 Matte Lux. And this is just a bright orange coral shade, perfect for this time of year. That's it right there. Um, and then I have Matte Darling. This is, again, one of more of those nude lipsticks with a touch of pink to it. So if you don't want to go too bright and out there, this is a perfect lipstick for you. And then this one is in the shade Matte Orchid and it is a hot, bright pink shade. Really, really, really beautiful for this time of year. Now I have some lashes to share with you guys. They're actually the lashes I'm wearing right now. So I just have the package to show you because I don't have any extras. I want to get more because I really, really like them. These are the Vaga 100% Human Hair Black Eyelashes in the number 016. I have them on my eyelashes right now. Of course, they are long and bold and everything, but they still have that natural appearance to them, which I really like. These have lasted me so long. I have worn them way too many times, and they still look so good. They still look exactly like the first time I applied them, so I'm really impressed by them, and I think I only paid $4 for them on Amazon, so I will try to link them down below for you guys. I definitely want to order more because they were so amazing and so inexpensive. All right, I have a brow product to share with you guys. This is the Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I just uploaded a video reviewing this product and demoing it for you guys, so I won't talk about it too much, but I'm wearing it in my brows right now, and I've been absolutely loving it. It's such a quick and easy brow product. So basically, this is a fiber brow product so it adds little fibers to your brows making them fuller and thicker and filling them in while setting them in place and this has just been so easy to use and such an amazing product it lasts all day in my brows and it's really really good so I'll link down below the review for this okay next I have some makeup wipes these are the simple sensitive skin experts cleansing facial wipes I have gone through so many packs of these they are my new favorite makeup removing wipes they are so good so saturated these take off my makeup so effortlessly and I have really sensitive skin and my eyes water when I put anything close to them um, and a lot of the time makeup wipes I cannot stand around my eye area they just irritate my eyes way too much but these don't do that I, I can actually take off both my eye makeup and face makeup with these wipes and I only have to use like one wipe to get all my makeup off so I have been absolutely loving these Okay guys, and the last favorite I have to share with you guys is a nail polish, and this is the Sally Hansen Complete Nail Salon Manicure in the shade Gleam Supreme. Not a very opaque color, like you can't really build this up to get this shade, but I love applying this as a top coat type product over any nail polish, and it makes it just have that hollow iridescent glow on top of the nail polish which I think is gorgeous and I've been using this so so much it's so pretty I do have a picture I'll insert it somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it over like a blue shade to see how pretty it is it's absolutely gorgeous you guys need to try this 
Okay guys, so that's it for my favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments what your May favorites were. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.